Rain gang, Ravens flock, what is up? It's your boy Sutton Death from the Purple Rain Podcast coming here with another video. Um, today I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about a couple things. Um, I, have, I had this, this epiphany, this thought earlier this morning I wanted to share with you guys. First, I just want to talk about Ronnie Stanley out for the season. Of course, this sucks for uh, Ronnie Stanley. He was expecting to be back this season to help the team, uh, but he can't, so prayers up to him. Uh, we kind of called this on the last episode of PRP. Make sure you go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, but we basically said, hey, man, the Ravens, they really hadn't given us any sort of indication that he was even close or making progress to being back. So we kind of figured that it, it might be some news coming soon that he'll be out for the season. Sure enough, the next day comes around. Uh, Ravens announced that he is on injured reserve and he is done for the season um, because he has to go undergo uh, ankle surgery again. So that sucks of course because we also have a lot of money tied up in ronnie stanley's contract we just paid him uh last year right before he got hurt the first time so we really have not gotten well we've gotten zero return on that investment so far so that sucks uh but like i said prayers up to him hopefully he will be back better than ever next season also we got nick boyle back that's good news we got nick boyle back um so when it comes to run blocking and just blocking in general Nick Boyer will be back and in full effect, uh, hopefully, in probably a couple weeks. He's practicing today, but in order for him to be in like game shape and ready to go, it'll probably be around two, maybe three weeks. So we'll continue to monitor that. Uh, now, the biggest thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today was this passing game and the receivers that we have. So obviously, this past weekend, we saw Rashad Bateman uh, made his NFL debut. He had four catches for about 30 yards. All four of his catches were first downs, which I love. I love that. But here's what I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about. I think, me, Sudden Death from the Purple Rain Podcast, I think that Hollywood Brown and Rashad Bateman, they can be the NFL's next big, like, wide receiver one and two duo. So the next Batman and Robin, if you will, or Bateman and Robin, if you will. Um, I think they really could, and here's the reason why. One, they're both very, very talented receivers, but they also have passing game coordinators who know exactly how to use them together. So not just like singling them out, like let Marquise Brown do his thing, let Rashad Bateman do their thing. They're just two totally separate entities. No, what the Ravens are doing with Rashad Bateman is very, very fascinating. And what they're doing is they're, they're lining him up on the same side of the field that Hollywood Brown is on. Now you gotta let's stop there. Let's take a look at both of their skill sets. Hollywood Brown is a legitimate surefire deep threat. He's a deep threat. He's got game breaking speed. He can take the top off of a defense. We've seen him do it time and time again. Rashad Bateman is more of a route running technician. He's going to get you, he's going to get open in those intermediate routes, uh, those digs, those outs, those curl routes, things like that. He's gonna get open. He specializes in getting open on routes like that. When you put those two guys on the same side of the field, what it does to a defense is catastrophic. It's, it's very confusing because it's like pick your poison. You don't really know what to do. It's like, hey, do we do we take the extra guys, the extra defenders, and, and send them deep to make sure that Hollywood Brown doesn't get open and beat us deep? Uh, or do we load more guys closer to the line of scrimmage and make sure that over the middle is shut down so guys like Rashad Bateman can't get those 5 to 10 to 12 to 15 yard completions on them all game long and you know just be moving the chains because if, if the Ravens are moving the ball on you it, it's over there's nothing you can do uh, especially when that run game comes into effect as well so when you look at it that way Hollywood Brown being the deep threat guys got to make sure that you know he's taken care of he's not burning them deep and then you look at Rashad Bateman being the guy that intermediate guy just like, oh, you're going to send guys deep to follow Hollywood? Okay, here's an easy completion for me. And also, Rashad Bateman doesn't stop there. What we saw in the first week is that he's really good with yards after the catch. He's good with yards after the catch. Now, he didn't have a, a, a ton of yak. He didn't have a ton of yak in, uh, in his first game, his NFL debut. But it was the effort. It was the effort that I saw that really, really put me on notice. And it, it made me think about this stat that's really not kept on paper, but it's not yards after the catch, but it's effort after the catch. And that's something that I saw in Rashad Bateman. He was showing a lot of effort after the catch, just fighting for yards. There was one particular play where he uh, he caught the ball and he was still behind like two or three yards to get the first down. So he like puts a move on two guys and he forces his way, lowers his shoulder, forces his way for that first down, which is something you love to see. 
effort after the catch. So it's really like a pick your poison offense, which is why I think these guys could be the next big duo. Cause it's like, it's, it's one or the other. It's one or the other, you know? It's either you, you let Rashad Bateman catch underneath all day and move the chains, or you give up the big play to Hollywood Brown. That's why T. Martin and Keith Williams are lining them up on the same side of the field because their skill sets complement each other so, so well. And it's gonna put a lot, a lot of stress and strain on the defense. So I think that's the reason why that they're lining them up next to each other. And I think that's the reason why I think that these two guys, Rashad Bateman and Hollywood Brown, could be special for years to come. Both very young guys. Um, I, I see easily over the next five, six, seven years, uh, Lamar Jackson having a ball, an absolute field day throwing to those guys because someone's always going to be open. Someone's always going to be open, okay? So we're talking about, like, you know, safeties and corners maybe having a shade over for Hollywood if he goes deep. Um, but also, and we're also talking about, you know, how that's going to leave open Rashad Bateman, but also we're not even talking about the running game. That's the main thing that people want to stop when they play the Ravens is the running game. And if you even try to play the run, they're going to throw all day. They're going to throw all day on you. Lamar Jackson is going to have an absolute field day, 300 yards passing. Um, and, and Rashad Bateman and Hollywood Brown will be responsible for a lot of those yards. I think you look at the snap count, man, the snap count for receivers it was Hollywood Brown was the first, uh, the leading uh, in snap counts in this past game. Uh, and then underneath that was Rashad Bateman. He followed him up. He was second. He was second. So that's that's huge right there. That just goes to show you the Ravens want to use these two guys together. They want to get them on the field together uh, so they can do some damage. And for those reasons that I just talked about, I think they can definitely do some damage. But I'm going to leave this video here, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. And if you also enjoyed it and you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Because there's going to be a lot more Ravens content where this came from. So make sure you guys are tuned into the Purple Rain podcast. Also, you want if you want to catch the live podcast, that's every Monday and every Thursday at 7 p.m every Monday and every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so make sure you guys come through and check that out. But for now, make sure you guys leave a comment down below on what you guys thought about this video, whether you agree with me, whether you disagree, and what are just some of your overall thoughts. Um, but yeah, like I said, my name is at Sutton Def. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Sutton Def. I'm the Propylene Podcast. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.